Welcome to Casual Nerd Reactions. I hope you're having a very pleasant day. Well, because if you're not, you're not going to like it where we're going. That's right. We're going to Pleasantville. This movie was released in 1998, starring Tobey Maguire and Reese Witherspoon. Because Tobey is Spider-Man, I do keep wanting to say Kirsten Dunst, which would have been cool if they'd have been paired together years before they were together in Spider-Man. But... Alas, alas, I'm sure I know I know there's going to be other actors in this movie, but those are the two that I recognize on the poster. I've seen this movie suggested on the channel uh, for the, I don't know, at least a year. And so I'm excited to finally dive into it. So let's experience Pleasantville for the very first time. It's the Pleasantville Marathon. Mr. Johnson at the soda shop. Oh, it's wait, um, more. If you put your thinking. I'm recognizing several people, but I'm struggling to come up with all the names right now. Hi. <laughs> I mean, hi. Hi, Peter. You know, I, I, I know you. As everybody knows you. Oh my gosh. This is exactly like Peter Parker and Spider-Man. Oh, what? <laughs> Bro. Is that your meatloaf? It might be. It might be. <laughs> oh, pumpkin. He's seen this before, huh? You have custody first week in the Hey, month. it's Malcolm in the Middle, it's Mom. Weekend. It's Lois. Lois Malcolm's mom. So I cannot think of their last name. Barry, if I want to have a mud bath with my new boyfriend, that's really my business, isn't it? Hey, where are those Excuse kids? Excuse me? Yeah, turn it up. Drown out the mud bath talk. Oof. Uh, marathon starts at 6.30. Contest is tomorrow at noon. Oh, there's like an actual... Thousand bucks, huh? What? Wait, this is a thousand bucks for a, like a TV trivia contest? So you're going to watch the concert on MTV tonight? Mom's going to be out of town. <laughs> She's making her move. All right, so one is gearing up to watch a concert on MTV with her boyfriend, because she's the cool one. One's gearing up to watch a, a marathon of a classic sitcom, but he could win $1,000. That's that's better to me. Like, hey. You can watch it upstairs. Upstairs? Upstairs? Oh, no. <sighs> TV uh, repair. Uh, wait. TV repair? What the heck? You know, we didn't call any TV repair. Well, that makes it a lucky day for both of us, doesn't it? I'm getting, um, like, it's a wonderful life vibes, like something mystical's happening, like something Jumanji. Who's this guy? You want something that'll put you right in the show. Uh-huh. Okay, okay. Who is Mary Sue? Why can't I borrow your transistor radio? <laughs> oh, it's like Not right with there. Ah, it's happening. <laughs> Wait, uh, it's mine. It's this is fantastic. This is so cool. Oh, they're the character, the actual characters. Better get a move on. You'll be late for school. What did you do? We're in Pleasantville. A dream come true, huh? We've got to get us out of here. Why would I do that? Because we don't belong. Oh, sure you do. You know, this is a pretty strange way of showing your appreciation. I'm not sure they should show appreciation. I'm very disappointed. I don't think I better talk about this right now. Until I'm a little more composed. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute! Definitely stuck there. What's gonna happen? I don't know. It's not possible. Is it possible? Bud! Sometimes you have to stop asking what is or isn't possible and just acknowledge it's happening. Possible or not. Play along for a little while until that guy shows up again and- Play along? Yes! If I don't dress like this for mom, I'm sure not gonna do it for you. We have no choice, Jen. <laughs> we are stuck here until that guy shows up again. <laughs> I was just thinking, I don't see any signs of a fire. They're here for a cat, yeah? Here, kitty. <laughs> oh, it seems like it's something out of a picture book. Last week, class, we discussed the geography of Main Street. This week, we're going to be talking about Elm Street. What's outside of Pleasantville? You can't ask that. There is no outside of Pleasantville. That explains why the geography lesson is incredibly basic. The end of Main Street is just the beginning again. Oh no. <laughs> they don't know how to miss. Because it's TV, right? Yes. <laughs> Suddenly you're basically a pro baller, son. Although seeing as everybody has the same ability, it doesn't feel nearly as special. If I was to go up to your sister, I don't think it's a real good time for that right now. Yeah, I'd wait. I'd wait a couple days. What do you mean? A couple weeks. I don't know what I'd do if she wouldn't go out with me. Oh no, this got dark. Whoa. Don't touch it. Stay back. 
Something must be wrong with the ball. I'm sure we'll work something out. If you don't go out with this guy, we could throw their whole universe out of whack. It's too weird, yeah, David. This place gives me the creeps. You can't deviate from the script. Yeah, I was in the library, and I looked, and they have covers, and there's nothing inside of them. There's nothing burns around. Jenna, stop. There's no fire. We don't even need firemen. Bud. Jeff Daniels. It came to me. You didn't come, so I just kept on wiping. Oh, my gosh. You can make the fries even if I haven't put out the napkins yet. Oh. This is interesting. They're like so set in their ways that even a minor disruption like Bud being late for work throws them all out of sorts. I didn't know what I talked to you about. Well, sometimes talking is overrated. Oh, he's definitely not going to know how to handle that. There's kids that are even holding hands already, but I figure there's plenty of time for that kind of thing later on, don't you? Uh-oh. Yeah. I bet he's even going to hold her hand. Oh! Because that's what you do at Lover's Lane. You hold hands, and that's it. I didn't think you'd want to come here until we'd been pinned for a little while. <laughs> oh, Skip. You can pin me anytime you want to. <laughs> or maybe I should just pin you. How could you possibly pin me? He has no idea. She would never do anything for us to be concerned about. <laughs> She's not the Mary Sue you remember. I think that's clear. I think I better go home now, Mary Sue. <laughs> That's supposed to happen. <laughs> I wasn't prepared for him to discover his changing body in this episode. What? In this movie. <laughs> this version of Mary Sue definitely brought an awakening. You weren't around this time. And? So I did the whole thing by myself. He's growing. Oh, hello, Betty. Hello, Bill. This is weird. What's going on with Betty and Bill? Do they have a history? Sure had a wonderful time. <laughs> He's the new man. <laughs> what in the giver is going on? That... She made him see colors he's never seen before. What we'll color? Another beautiful sunny day. High 72, low 72. No That's just the weather in Pleasantville. Why can't we hear them? Are they on mute? Unmute it. Is he describing what he did with Mary Sue? That might throw everything out of whack. They're all learning things, huh? Oh! You can't do this, You broke Jennifer. the basketball team. I warned team. you. And you're messing with their whole universe. Maybe it needs to be messed with, David. They have a lot of potential. They just don't know any better. Well, they don't have that kind of potential. Oh, yeah? Wait a second. Hey, can everyone see it? Gum. Are they gawking at the double bed? Her tongue? Green car! You know what I really like? Christmas time. I get to paint the Christmas decorations in the window, and every year I get to paint a different thing. Oh. It's not the Christmas time, it's the painting. He's an artist. I think that you should try not to think about that anymore. He's trying to discourage his dreams? I'll try that then. I think you should paint. Make art. Oh, here's Mr. Mayor. Here, here. Go ahead. Oh, don't be silly, Roy. I couldn't possibly take your spot. Uh, as he sits down and takes his spot. <laughs> Spray to her lips now, too. Oh, no. Is she the first person that's not black and white? Real red. I know what you mean. This car that was in front of Bill Johnson's soda shop. Have you seen him lately? I was getting my sewing machine fixed across the street. Oh, wow. Just talking about it can make it spread. Or maybe it was thoughts of, uh, of Bill. What goes on up at Lover's Lane? Sex. What sex? When two people really love each other very, very much. How does she have kids? You know what? It's a, it's, she doesn't really have kids she was written to have kids right so she's never experienced love or passion just being a housewife and a mom your father would never do anything like that there are other ways to enjoy yourself sweetie you coming to bed just going to take a bath first i uh, guess single beds they were gawking at the double bed before i have a feeling by the time she finishes doing what she's about to do there's going to be a little more color in this house that he's used to seeing. It's going to raise questions. An eruption of color. The whole tree's... Whoa, that's... 
more destructive than I expected. The fire station doesn't fire! know what to do. There's never been a fire before. Fire! Cat. Fire! Say cat. Cat? Yes! <laughs> Where's the cat? Come on, just hold on tight! Whoa! Yay! I baked you some of my oatmeal cookies. Aw. Oh. Sounds pretty good. Oh, no, no. You baked those for Whitey. I baked them for you. Get out of the script, man. Listen to what she's saying. Thank you. Oh, wow. Fully in color, people, at this point. Mm -hmm. It's it's kind of like we know exactly who's been the more active explorers of the bunch, I suppose. Well, then why is she still on black and white, right? I don't know. How'd you know about the fire? Mm. What? Where I used to live, that's just what firemen did. And where's that? Right, because there is no other place than Pleasantville. Now he's going to break the universe. Maybe he needs to be broken. I don't know. What's outside of Pleasantville? There's some places where the road keeps going. Rivers and... Like the mighty Mississippi. What? He knows about it. The books aren't empty anymore. I don't know. You just get the feeling, man. There's going to be someone in this town who is like, Books are dangerous! We should ban all the books that are filled in with ideas and such. Probably Look, uh, these barbers were spreading all over the place. I mean, going up to that lake all the time is one thing, but now they're going to a library. Which is interesting, too. You wouldn't think Lover's Lane and the library would have anything in common, but... Somebody ought to do something about that. I don't know. First new experiences, then new ideas. Changes in the town. Uh, it's going to be your role to stop it, huh? Did you hear about Bill Miller? No, what? Wife wants him to get one of those new beds. What's he gonna do? I don't know. He's gonna make a Fred Flintstone and share the bed with his wife. Oh, oh my gosh. It's important for them to see someone they respect stand up for what's right. I want you to be a member of the Pleasantville Chamber of Commerce. Betty, Bob wants to try some of your great hors d'oeuvres. Uh oh, she's not there. Betty? Huh? Are you okay? Oh no. What am I going to do? I say oh no because she's crying. How can I go out there this way? You got any makeup? Can you can you can you cover that with makeup? Huh. That's Pretty actually really you. interesting. And a really cool effect as well. But at the same time, like it's a shame to literally cover up who you are. How long has that man been calling for his wife without getting off his butt to go check on her? It's an art book. Oh, cool. Oh my gosh, bud. That's a really thoughtful idea. Now is he gonna foster and fuel his dreams? Yeah. Nice musical cue on a starry night. <laughs> I'll never be able to do that. Well, you just started. I mean, you can't do it now. No, no, no. That, that's not it. Just where am I gonna see colors like that? Must be awful lucky to see colors like that. I'll bet they don't know how lucky they are. Certainly things we take for granted, right? You probably don't think I should be asking you this. It's affecting him too. He's getting bold and brazen. Will you go out with me tonight? Yeah, boy. Yes! I'm getting a little concerned about what I'm seeing on some of these reruns. Those are not your cookies, bud. Look, I can't hear you. Bye. Bye. reception. We'll talk later. <laughs> How come I'm still in black and white? Thank you. I don't know. Maybe it's not just the sex. Yeah. It's about changing and growing, expanding your idea or understanding or perception of your world, right? Maybe. Although then, in which case, wouldn't reading be something that maybe sparks some color in her life? I don't know. To press my cheek to oh. Christmas came early. Here's my favorite. Oh. Isn't it great how she's resting like that? She's crying. No, she's not. Oh. Yes, she is. Interesting how they see two different things. Our makeup. It's beautiful. You shouldn't cover that up. Wow. She's gonna try on the glasses. Interesting. For her, the more she, I think, becomes like Mary Sue, the more color she's going to experience. We are going to, you know. <laughs> He's eager. I'm studying. 
Oh. Honey, I'm home. She's not. It's not sunny in Pleasantville tonight. Well, obviously it wouldn't be at night, but like. <laughs> what is that? You don't have rain either? Not according to the weather report. It's rain, it's okay. It's fine, come on out. Cool. Honey, I'm home. Oh, he's stuck. Where's my dinner? Where's my wife? Where's my dinner? Uh, yeah. <laughs> he actually said, where's my dinner? <laughs> where's my dinner? Interesting how he's only concerned with his dinner. He's not asking, where's my wife? Honestly, though, are they even really married? They've never had sex. Where's my dinner? What happened? She was gone. Hmm. It's going to be fine, George. What are we going to do, Bob? Well, we're safe for now. Thank goodness we're in a bowling alley. <laughs> it's a question of whether we want to hold on to those values that made this place great. Whoa. Are we in this thing alone? Or are we in it together? We're safe for now. Thank goodness we're in a bowling alley. Together! 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 Coalition Against New Ideas! Oh, he's in color now, too. The whole shop is, huh? Oh, She's in color, too. Because she stayed in to study. Everybody but poor young Toby McGuire. And of course, the milkman. All true citizens? We'll just go to the meeting. No. I don't think she'd be welcomed. Put on some makeup. I don't want to put on some makeup. She's done hiding who she is. At six o'clock every night, and you are going to have dinner ready on this table. No. I think she's leaving you. I made you a meatloaf. I'm going to go now. Don't go out there like that. They'll see you. She doesn't care anymore. I wonder what he has to do to colorize. Why aren't you at the town meeting right now? I thought maybe it was because you were too busy entertaining your colored girlfriend. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Interesting how the Chamber of Commerce here has like a symbol of togetherness, an agreement. First thing we have to do is to separate out the things that are pleasant from the things that are unpleasant. Uh, I don't think, I mean, I don't think it's an accident that Whitey referred to Margaret as colored and he's clearly setting up a segregation plot line. Oh boy. Hi. Which I'm not sure you could have racial commentary in a movie full of white people, but maybe you can, I don't know. Or maybe it's bigger than race. No confidence. I mean, there is something within a lot of folks that we rear up against something new and different that we haven't experienced before. This kid ex never experienced that before. I didn't do anything wrong. Oh, no? Let me show you something. Go on, try it. You don't deserve to live in this paradise. I'm gonna put this place back the way it was. I can't let you do that. I don't think that guy has any power inside here. Hey, let's see if she looks like a picture. Wow. <laughs> yeah, you wanna be friendly, don't you? <laughs> this is where Bud's gonna get colorized. He's gonna stand up for her. Ooh. Go on, go! The red blood from the hit. Are you okay? The white shirt not showing him his, his skin tones. Come on, colorized. Yes. What? Yes! Oh no. Are they gonna trash the whole place? Yeah, book burning's about right. This is like the only book I've ever read in my whole life, and you're oh. not gonna put it on that fire! Interesting how, even though this whole thing kind of started when they slept together, how she's not colored and he's not. Which what is more than just sex, you know? We're not gonna solve our problems out in the street. It's just the wrong way to do it. Now, if we can all agree to these, we can take a vote, and I think we can start off in the right direction. All public disruption and acts of vandalism are to cease immediately. The area commonly known as Lover's Lane, as well as the Pleasantville Public Library, go. shall be closed until further notice. Seven. The only permissible paint colors 
Black and white, huh? Shall be black, white, or gray, despite the recent availability of certain alternatives. <laughs> Turn that off! Like, you're not allowed to do that now! Can you put the genie back in the bottle? Sure you are. I don't know what I'd do if I couldn't paint anymore, but... Maybe I have an idea. What is it? Wow. It's kind of a more of a graffiti. There's someone to see you, bud. Is it dad? What went wrong? Nothing went wrong. People change. People change? It's a new concept. Can they change back? Not usually. I think there's a lot of ways to look at this movie. Bud Parker, William Johnson. <laughs> They're all up. You are charged with a death. Oh. You don't have a right to do this. I know you want it to stay pleasant around here. Who doesn't love pleasant? There are so many things. Silly. Or sexy. Or dangerous. Or brief. And every one of those things is in you all the time. They're no different than you are. Nobody's one thing. If you try to just be one thing, to just be pleasant, you're not really alive. You're suppressing. Maybe... It's not just the cooking or the cleaning that you miss. Maybe it's the woman? What do you feel, man? Maybe it's like there's a whole piece of you that's missing too. Doesn't she look pretty like that? Hmm. Don't you wish you could tell her that? I don't think it's a circus and I don't think they do either. Wow, it's spreading fast. Can't stop it once because it's in you and you can't stop something that's inside you. It is not inside me. What do you want to do to me right now? Something angry. That is not going to happen. But it could happen. No, it oh. could not. Because nobody's one thing. Woo. Interesting how anger, rage is the thing that brought a little light to his face. Oh my gosh. It's a whole new world out there. <laughs> Pleasantville no longer just repeats on that same road. Look, a new road is, is right there in front of us, giving directions to the next town. Wow. Sure you don't want to come home? This is cool. I think I even have a chance of getting into college back there. <laughs> oh. Is staying an option? <laughs> I guess so. I did the slut thing, David. Got kind of old. I'll come back and check on you soon. And there she goes, getting on the bus into the spinoff. I doubt there is, but I kind of wish there was a, a sequel film following her. <laughs> Maybe that's what Legally Blonde's about. Oh, bud. I love you too. I, uh, I guess you better stand back. I hate for you to be transferred into the real world, huh? Oh, that's an interesting way to show that. I wonder what's to become of this, yeah, this guy. What's he thinking now? <laughs> eh, he doesn't seem so upset. Be going all night long until noon tomorrow. <laughs> she came back. No mud bath. When your father was here, I used to think this was it. This is the way it was always going to be. I had the right house, I had the right car. There is no right house, there is no right car. How'd you get so smart all of a sudden? I had a good day. <laughs> I absolutely love this movie. I mean, I think it says a lot of things. I'm actually, I'm actually gonna have to take a minute or two to collect my thoughts. Um, Cause part of it resonated much too deeply with my personal life over the last few years, but. So what's gonna happen now? I don't know. Do you know what's going to happen now? No, I don't. <laughs> you know, it's okay not to know. I guess I don't either. <laughs> I think this movie works on a couple different levels. Um, first of all, Gary Ross. Uh, <laughs> really wonderful movie. From the very beginning, and it almost had a fabulous quality to it. Very fable-like. Uh, certainly surrealism. Uh, comes to mind when I think of this movie and how everything unfolded. At its core for me, 
I'm thinking about worldview and mindset. We all have a worldview and mindset that is shaped from our environment and the way we were raised, the way we grew up, the culture we were surrounded with. When we don't get outside of the little small world of which we were raised in, we don't know what else is out there. We don't know how to, to relate to someone else's experience. We don't understand other cultures and the fact that some people think about things in a different way than we do. Very much like Pleasantville, right? We're stuck on this road that only goes one one direction and just repeats because there is no outside world. And I love the way that this movie kind of presented that with the people of this little classic sitcom in Pleasantville. And it started with um, kind of a sexual awakening, so to speak. But obviously, as we go throughout the movie, we see a lot of things awakened people to a different way of experiencing reality. Uh, I loved that for Mary Sue, it was actually studying for Bud. It was getting a backbone and, you know, standing up for for something and for the Chamber of Commerce Commerce guy. It was anger for George. It was missing his wife. I, and I love the the overall inherent message of we're we're not one thing. It can be really tempting and really easy to just want to focus on the positive, focus on what's what's good, and and block out and push down, suppress everything that's not. I think this is, sometimes it's a natural tendency. I know I have that tendency. And, and I tend to be a pretty optimistic person over overall, but if I'm not careful, I can mask very real things that maybe shouldn't be masked. If we are constantly, everything's pleasant, everything's fine, when things are not pleasant and not fine, it can really do some dark stuff internally under the surface. It's great when things are actually pleasant and actually fine, but no one can live in Pleasantville 100% of the time. It's just not realistic. And this movie really resonated with me and, and the way that I grew up. I feel like I was raised in an environment that didn't challenge or encourage you to think it, think it, to look at things from a different point of view, to look at things differently. And the few times in my life uh, when I would have an idea that differed from the norm of everything that was around me, it did at times, depending on who I was around or who I was with, it was met with this opposition of like, oh no, that's not the correct way of thinking. And yeah, it's kind of hard for me not to paint the brush of certain elements of my past with the Chamber of Commerce. <laughs> I know this is an exaggerated version, but I definitely feel like there are people in this world that are very much like the Chamber of Commerce, very much against new ideas and new experiences and wanting to keep things in this finite, like things have to stay the way they've always been. No, they don't. <laughs> and it's great to expand your worldview, expand your perspective and get in the shoes of others and seek to understand the experiences of, of other people. And I know I'm probably re I mean, maybe I am, maybe I'm not. I feel like I'm probably reading some of my own experiences over the last few years into this movie, or maybe the movie's reading it, pulling it out of me. I don't know, but I really resonated with this film and I really, really loved it. And I know I probably didn't express all of that as clearly as I would have liked, but uh, I would love to know what you think of this film, uh, how much of it resonates with you. And, um, I mean, I'm kind of still processing uh, <laughs> the movie a little bit. There is, It was just a very charming, very wonderful movie, but I feel like it actually said a whole lot. Yeah, let me know all your thoughts on this film. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.